Hey everyone, it's Alexa. I just want to talk to you about this book that I came across last year and how it turned into a movie, which I'm sure you all heard about something borrowed and I'm sure you can see that in my title. Um, so here's what it looks like. And I first came across it at a book sale. Um, one of the high schools in my town had a sale where you can get like a punch, bunch of books, fill up a whole bag, a reusable bag full of whatever you want for $5. And I thought this looked pretty cute. So I <laughs> picked it up and I fell in love with it. It was really good. And um, a, a few things though, at first I thought it was a lot like Sophie's Kinsella's books. Um, but then once I got reading it, I see that there is a lot of like her own like little spunk and I could see like a lot of herself into it. Whereas um, Sophie's books were like a little bit too fairy tale ish I guess. Like if you want like more of a, fairy, a fantasy type of thing where everything kind of works out in the end, that's good. But this you can see that like it has like a lot more substance to it. And so that was like my initial thoughts. Um, once I got through the book more, I started to like get curious with it and like wondering like, what would happen like if it were to turn into a movie and everything and like who would play what characters or what they would look like or how they would like act out like a certain scene. Um, I'm actually a drama major at school so like I kind of like have like an inkling for these type of things so I get kind of curious I guess more than what other people would or one, one person should. Um, so yeah so I know this book came out in like 2005-2006 ish but so I'm a little late reading it but when, as soon as I finished reading it, I heard about the previews for the movie and that my favorite actress, uh, Kate Hudson, is going to be in it. So I totally had to see it and was really glad I did. Um, at first, I wasn't quite sure, like, how it would be, like, I don't know, done well in, like, the media because I know, like, those types of movies like don't really do too well these days but I went on Sunday for Mother's Day with my mom and my grandma and it had like a nice little girls day and um sorry I just picked off like a piece of fuzz that was on my computer um it was a really good movie there was like at first like the theater was like really empty and everything but um people came in after and like actually there was a few guys there and one sat right beside me and he was laughing the whole time like he thoroughly enjoyed it so I thought at first he was like just being it to be nice with like, his girlfriend or whatever but no he liked it and it was really nice that I wasn't like the only one like hysterical um so yeah I actually have some notes here so I know what I'm doing um so yeah at first I was like wondering like because normally you know that like movies and books don't really like the book's always better and blah 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 well I found like the book and this movie like were the exact same like I was not disappointed at all like oh, well at the end there was like it ended a lot differently but I was really like sorry I'm playing with my hair a lot um I really enjoyed how it, it was the same and I wasn't disappointed and I don't know it, it worked <laughs> um my favorite scenes favorite scenes I want to know what your favorite scenes are um I really like the push a bit because it was nice to see you know them all like I don't know let loose for a little bit and just kind of have like because sometimes with a movie like that it gets so like you know fairy tale like and or this is going wrong that's going wrong so just like a nice like push it moment was like really good and I think they picked like the perfect song for that um another mo uh, moment that I liked was um when Emily herself was in the scene reading something blue and that was really cool. She was the one on the park bench. Um, and I heard, I, I saw this on her Facebook page that Emily's, uh, that something borrowed got 13, almost 14 million in the first um, weekend that it shows. So that was like really good. And that um, it needs to get to 60 uh, million for something blue to come out. And so I really hope that happens because I would really like to see that and do a review on it. And I don't know, I love series, so yeah. Um, and then I also read there that anyone in Atlanta who wants to go to a late night show, um, she was gonna join them. So I think that was really cool. And I wish I was there for that because that'd be quite the experience. Um, I'm a huge book nerd. So yeah, that was totally my thing. I just keep reading books. Um, oh yeah, thoughts on Kate's performance. I thought it was really good because normally she plays like, I don't know, someone who's like always like, well, how can I put this? She always plays like the character who's like trying really hard and things are going great and blah, blah, blah. And like things were going great for her here, but she kind of like the twist in it was a lot different compared to like other characters that you'd see from like um, Raising Helen and um, How Lose a Guy in 10 Days. And you know, it was nice to see her or something different. Um, 
so yeah, at the, the very end, they, I don't want to like overly spoil this, but um, I'm guessing like a lot of you have already seen this or I don't know. But at the very end, I was kind of con concerned because in the book, it doesn't really like come to an ending like it does so that if you don't want to read the next book, it's okay. But I think that the ending, it would have been good as a, as a cliffhanger too. So I don't know. I feel like the when I saw the movie, I was a wee bit not disappointed, but I don't know. I would have liked to see it differently because I did read the book. But for everybody who didn't see the book, I thought that they, they said it was fine. So I don't know. Um, let me see here. Oh, I want to know like what you guys thought about like the deleted scenes. Like I know like there was tons deleted. Like for people that like who haven't read the book and are going to see the movie, there was like um, a lot of dates between uh, Dex and Rachel that ha that were missed. Um, there's a scene like where um, Darcy and Rachel like go out and she misses work for to get lipstick and it was like a big ordeal to her and she was I don't know um, and then a nice date like one of the cutest dates or whatever that Rachel made a big deal uh, yeah Rachel made a big deal about was when her and Dex went out and got coffee in the book I don't know I, I was looking forward to seeing that and it was never there um, and then another big part was when Darcy was telling Rachel that um, she cheated on Dex. In the movie, they kind of did it with, like, I mean, in the book, she did it with, like, losing her wedding ring and everything. And in the book, they didn't show that at all. And I think that having that would have, like, added more substance to it and made the plot thicker. Um, and then, yeah, so when she just kind of, like, came out and told her, it was kind of, like, really random, just stuck in there, I thought. So, I don't know, because kind of, I don't think Darcy's the type of person that would just come out and, like, say that she was cheating. But, I don't know. It was done. It was okay. Um, and what else was missing? Um, there was also another character with Claire um, named Annalise that was not in the movie. And they didn't show Rachel's parents, which I guess they can't really show everything. But, I mean, just for people that are wondering that haven't read the book, um, that didn't really, I don't know, not that didn't really care for it, but thought that it was missing something. Maybe it would have, you would have seen more if these extra things were in there, like that were in the book. So, yeah. Um... And then I was also kind of, I'm curious to think now, like, what happens with um, something blue, which is, looks like this. I got it from the library. And, yeah, um, I'm reading it right now. I'm still, you know, like I said, years behind, but I'm right on track uh, movie-wise. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I would like to know, like, because at the very end in the, in the scene, it ends with, like, Marcus, I'm not going to say like the whole ending, but like it ends with Marcus in, I mean, not, not Marcus, just Darcy going into a limo and she never does. Um, so I think that like, I would like to know how it's, how something blue would start because that's where it pick up. So I, I don't know. And then also this is kind of like unrelated to both of these books. But it's the next one called Baby Proof. And I just found out today that it's like not to do with like these two series that it kind of ends there. I'm kind of disappointed in that, but I'm interested to see and if that happens, like what happens, like if there's gonna be a possible video for that. And I don't know, I think that like Emily's a really nice writer and I'd be interested in seeing like a lot more of her things. And she's young and um, she's gone through university, which I think really helps people like have like different dynamics on certain things. And um, having kids, I'm sure right now helps her. And she just seems like a really creative person. So I would really like to see that and I'm curious and hopefully get my answers answered. I mean, my questions answered. <laughs> so yeah, if you've seen these books or uh, saw the movie or questions or anything related, just um, let me know and I'll answer them or we can talk about movies or anything at all because I'm a huge nut and my friends are kind of into like different um, books than I am so it'd be kind of nice to like talk with people who are more on the same page as me. So yeah, um, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye!